Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Gunner Optics Anime Onyx Z. I previously have used the pair of Gunner Optics that are the Parallax Gloss Onyx. These are the pair that I usually use for gaming and the like. The big criticism I have about Gunner Optics are their incompatibility with headsets. Um, taking this headset right here. It fits over it, but the fit is really, really tight. They get pushed up. All sorts of stuff that just make them very difficult to use while wearing a headset, which is often very much required for gaming. From what I can tell, the Anime Onyx Z might be a pair that fixes this issue, but I'm really not sure. So I'm going to get them opened up and check them out. The box doesn't really say much. It says Gunner, Technology Eyewear, Anime Onyx Z. Pretty simple packaging. If you are unaware, uh, the Gunner Optics are, of course, Technology Eyewear. They are essentially glasses that you wear to prevent massive eye strain while using computers and screens and video games over long periods of time. The amber tint as well as just the way the lenses are made just kind of prevent as much of certain light from reaching your eyes and help you reduce eye strain while using computers for extended periods of time. I'm someone who does that with multiple screens and it becomes very strenuous on the eyes. And so the glasses actually help a lot, but like I said, they become a real pain when you want to use a headset. So then I have to take them off to wear the headset and then my eyes get double strained because I'm used to the glasses and then I have to take them off and play without glasses because the headset. So I'm hoping these will fit better, but we will have to see. Let me get a pair of scissors over here. I am using a fairly new recording setup, so if you see me see me looking in weird places, I'm just checking to make sure everything's working okay. They do use Carl Zeiss lenses for the glasses. And let's get the package out of here somehow. The funny part is, is they're starting to sell this, which I did not realize until after I already planned this out. They're starting to sell this at, our, at where I work, which is more of a office supplies technology place and this is literally the packaging you see on the shelf and then it's got a small little display that says gunners and optic and or gunner optics and maybe technology eyewear but they don't say a whole lot about it and so those who don't know what they're looking for aren't really going to know what these are and the funny part is is i'm sure no one at my work has any experience with them outside of myself and so they're not going to be the best salesman for it either so now we get the white box, got our digital performance eyewear logo. And of course, to bash all um, misconceptions and things like that, these do, not blah, blah, blah. these do not increase your performance. They're simply there to reduce eye strain, which in theory increases performance a little bit, but it's more of a comfort thing. It's not gonna make you better. That's not how it works. Glasses can't do that. So immediately we get the different styles shown here compared to the Parallax pair that I have. They're a bit bigger, they got thicker frames. I will of course show that better in B-roll here. Um, and so let's get them out of the packaging. If I can do so without breaking them. Inside the box we get another microfiber pouch that I hang them in. Currently have mine hanging on my mic stand back there, which you can see right there. That's where I keep them. So it's good, it comes with another bag. And then we get a little booklet about them, which again, you would not know about until after you made the purchase. Actually, it just says about the iAmp lens technology. Nothing too useful here. I thought it was two pages, but it's not. Let's see what it says. If I can find the English here. Technology eyewear. Gunner Optics Digital Eyewear improves visual performance for many computer users. It is an excellent out-of-the-box solution for those with 2020 vision or vision corrected to 2020. Non-prescription Gunner Eyewear is highly recommended as a solution for contact wearers or post-corrective surgery patients. Crystalline and amber lenses are precisely tuned with 0.2 diopters for digital screen viewing distance. Some physical environments or visual conditions fall outside the range of accommodation. If you are not completely satisfied with the standard solution, please inquire about the Gunner RX program 
at Gunners.com. An unlimited warranty, usage and care, blah, blah, blah. So basically it's saying it's not prescription glasses. Um, if you need those, you need, they do actually have prescription gunners that you can get where it's got prescription lenses. These are just standard lenses for normal people, normal vision. Um, so the frames feel so much sturdier than my Parallaxis 2. It's pretty cool. The lenses are about the same size. The frame's just bigger and it's got a nice metal bracket here. Let's get it on. I like how they feel. I, don't, I can't really tell how they look from here. Um, but I certainly like how they feel. The frames definitely stick out more, like I can see the frames a lot more. Um, not necessarily a great thing. And let me switch between these and the Parallax. The Parallax being a pretty old model, by the way. They're, these are a bit heavier, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, however, they do feel like they put just as much resistance to headsets. So let's go ahead and give that a try because that's my qualifying factor. If they're not if they're not any worse about headsets, then I can keep using them. I mean, if they're about the same, if like if I can't wear them with a headset and they feel just as comfortable or more comfortable than my Parallaxes, then I can keep using them because I couldn't use them with headsets to begin with. But I'm going to give it a try here with my Turtle VH's PX22s. Eesh. Okay. Not very headset friendly either. And I could be doing this wrong. I don't regularly wear glasses, but if I put it like this, it kind of feels normal, but there's still pressure to push the glasses up. It feels really weird, so not really glasses compatible. Or not really headset compatible. But that is okay. I I'm actually really impressed by the build quality feel in these. Something with the old parallaxes that I've had for quite a few years now is, I mean, and they're supposed to. These are supposed to be lightweight, quick glasses. They don't have frames that get in your way. And I may continue to like them for that. I've always liked them for that. They're just sleek and really thin. But the anime just feel really sturdy. They feel like they're not going to break. They're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to warp too much. And I know that they're there. Which can be a good or a bad thing. But that's them. The Optic or Gunner Optic Anime Onyx series technology eyewear. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about Optic Gunners, Gunner Optics, whatever the hell the name is. Gunners, these glasses, in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Again, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.